Hey, what's up? I'm Inizalea. How are you guys doing today? So today I'm going to be showing you how to swap clothes pretty quickly. So currently I'm wearing this white t-shirt and actually, honestly, I think that black looks a little bit better on me. So uh, what I will do is I will pick up this um, black t-shirt and what I will do is just slap it on and yeah there you go so now i have a nice fresh black t-shirt so pretty cool all right so now let's jump into adobe premiere pro and see how this effect is done Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what you want to do is record yourself in front of the camera with your one t-shirt holding the other t-shirt and slapping it onto your body. And then you want to stay as still as possible and just put on that new t-shirt that you just slapped onto your body. And then you want to do exactly the same thing, slapping your hand against your body. Uh, but now you're actually wearing the t-shirt already. So it's really simple. Just try to stand in the same position. Uh, also very important is that you stand in a location where the light condition isn't always changing because that's going to be very noticeable. So um, I'm in my room, I close the curtains and I put up some uh, some lights so that shouldn't be able to, to change. The only downside on uh, my video files is actually I was recording on automatic because I don't have a cameraman with me. So you do know Notice a little change because I'm actually wearing a black t-shirt which changes the settings of my automatic camera so uh, if you have the luxury um, make sure that you're recording in a manual mode and all the settings from the camera actually don't change and stay the same using a constant light setup that's going to be very important once you have recorded yourself import your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro I actually prepared a link in the description where you can actually download my video files on so you can follow with this tutorial using my files so I'll create a new sequence right here create a new sequence and just click OK and then we're going to use um, my shots right here so dragon shot 01 and then shout out to now we actually want to zoom in here and I'm actually going to mute my audio layer so you don't actually hear it and hold alt and scroll it a little bit open here so we actually get to see um, my audio files a little bit better so what you can see right here if we're going to take a look is I slap it on my body right here and at the same moment you're going to see a spike in the audio file um, in the audio waveform actually uh, and this is just because my hand is actually slapping my body and it's recording that uh, sound so what I will do is press C on the keyboard and cut right here so um, now we cut our scene at the exact same spot where my hand actually gets in contact with my body and then we'll just delete that last part so uh, just delete it right away now what you want to do is go to the other scene and do the exact same thing. So right here you see that same audio spike. As you can see right here. I will just go over here and just, um, yeah, cut away. So one thing that we want to do now is actually uh, press V on the keyboard and hold Alt and click on that video file. We only want to affect the video file in this case. So uh, we're just going to shorten or trim it until that moment in, in time. So what I want to do is actually press C on the keyboard and now cut away the first part of that audio and hold Alt and click this part and delete it. So now we actually have a little bit of a longer um, audio file right here and this is actually really important. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I want to use one of um, the audio files completely so it's not going to be cut away and uh, the, the effect it's going to sound right. So we want to use one of the audio files it doesn't matter if it's from this video file or from this video file um, but we just want to use one. So we're going to drag our audio file on a new layer below because it's actually going to overlap with this audio file right here. And now you just drag these two together. We'll make sure that these two are linked. So right click and link the audio file and then we can drag it over and just make sure that the time doesn't get uh, changed. So now if we're going to preview this and I'm going to preview it with my audio. Just slap it on. And there we go. It's basically already done so it's a pretty cool effect which is very simple to achieve and yeah as you can see i did record myself on a tripod which makes any kind of visual effects look much 
easier uh, than if it would be on a moving camera. So actually we created something, it's called uh, Realistic Camera Shakes, uh, which are actually uh, recorded from real camera shakes. And I converted them into uh, Adobe Premiere Pro presets, uh, which you can go ahead and get on our website. A link will be put in the description as well. Uh, but if you are going to use these presets, just to give you an example, I will uh, use a soft shake here. I will just drag this onto a, uh, well, actually I'm going to nest my video first. So I'm going to select all my clips, right click and nest this video because I'm actually working with two clips. Uh, if you have one clip, you don't have to nest it, but it's a little bit easier this way. So we'll click okay. And then I will drag this right here on top. And now if we're going to preview this, we're going to notice that we have shake on our video. So the only last thing we should do is just zoom in a little bit because you see these borders. And now you have actually a much more realistic kind of a camera angle. And it's, it looks like someone is actually filming uh, me doing this trick. So that's a pretty cool way to, to spice it up a little bit, to make it a look a little bit more realistic. But yeah, basically that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. And also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. And I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.